Hello everyone, this is In Game Arts. This is a special little small video that I will be producing. Uh, as you can tell, I got Magic the Gathering here. Uh, I was a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to collect the cards and so forth for Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I don't have any interest in Magic the game or anything. I never actually really sat down and played it, and what little I have played, I didn't really ultimately enjoy it. But then again, I could have just had a bad experience with it. But I bought a quite a fit of quite a bit of Dungeons and Dragons Magic the Gathering cards maybe maybe even overdone it a little bit but the point is that I bought a lot of them and I haven't bought cards in a very long time and I don't mean to make this video this beginning intro introduction to it all very long but I hope to try to unbox them all and see what I get and everything like that I don't expect anything too amazing or anything and I don't know anything about magic so I don't know what could possibly be in in a lot of these so or any of them be it precise so I just saw them I bought it like all the kinds and so forth so each video will be just me unboxing those sets so first one here we got name the black theme booster so I thought it looked kind of cool name <laughs> that you can see it if you wanted to see it everything like that i don't know if people care about these kinds of videos or anything like that i just thought it'd be fun to do something different i'm always doing unboxing videos i thought it'd be fun to actually do an actual unboxing of a product i had no idea what's inside of it so but let's let's stop talking and let's actually open it so okay i actually want to try to try to preserve the box a little bit i don't know why i guess that's just my gamer collector instinct there to try to preserve the box I don't know. Maybe, maybe, may not actually matter to anybody. Oh, apparently, I opened up the wrong way. Or it looks like I opened up the wrong way. It looks like it actually opens up from the bottom. Uh, I don't mean to be so far from the screen. I'm sorry. This is the first time I've ever done it like this, so it's experimental. And if there's a weird hum, I did some experimental things, and I can't figure out what that hum is in the audio. So, here it is. I, I figured it would have been like a, more of a thing, but is that it? Yep, that's it. So... I don't know if these are random. I was told the commander decks don't are not random, so I don't know if these booster theme ones are random or not. But let's we'll just check it out. I don't know, like I said, anything about magic or how to really how to play it or what the cards mean or anything. I just know that I like the cards. I like the Dungeons and Dragons. I'm a big fan of the universe of Dungeons and Dragons. I don't. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons actually, but I've always played the games like Never Winters and so forth. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and zoom this up a little bit more so you guys can get a better look of all the cards I got. Hopefully you can see. Hopefully the light doesn't blind it. So let's see here. We got that one. Okay, it almost looks like there was felt like there was double. Like I said, I don't know if these are like, like I said, main all the same cards. Like if you if you bought the same booster pack, you would get the same cards too. Hmm. A beholder. I've always was fond of beholders. One of the other ones I'm hoping to get is a Mimic. I've always loved Mimics. So I don't know if this like comes with like the foil cards or anything like that, or if it comes with anything rare. I don't really know. I don't even know how you tell from what's, what's a rare card or what's not a rare card. What is this? A Reaper's Talisman? It's an artifact. I actually I have no idea what that is or what it does or what it represents. I know this may upset some people who are Magic Gathering fans. Did I just get this card? Yes, I got a Mimic. This was one I was one of the cards I was really hoping to get. It's actually a mimic. I was really hoping to get a mimic. Man, that light's so bad. Reflection of light. Sorry about that. I gotta try to figure out a way to do something better with lighting. I've always loved mimic enemies, like in Demon Souls and so forth. Yes, I'm always actually a fan of dragons. That's why I love Dungeons and Dragons. If you don't actually know, my zodiac sign or Chinese zodiac sign is the dragon. So I guess that's convenient. Got another one of these. Is another double. And. I, again, I don't know if this is actually fun for anybody to watch. I just thought I'd try it and see what you guys think. So I'm actually doing this like upside down for you guys. So that way you guys can see it more clearly. So up is down and down is up for me. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure it's like fun for you guys to watch and get some information. Like I said, I wish I knew more about magic. Like the person I bought all these, well, he, had run his, he owns his own magic, like, game store and magic store. And he tried to explain a lot of it to me. And I, I just, I don't know, I guess... I tried watching like documentary videos and stuff like that of teaching you how to play. That's actually a really cool looking card. I really like that card. It's a little dark, but it's kind of cool looking. That's a cool looking card. Eyes of the Beholder. Now, I've always loved the Beholder enemy. But he tried to explain it. I've tried to watch videos and stuff like that of trying to figure out how to play. And it's so convoluted. It's just bonkers that people can even figure out what they're doing and what's going on in the game. 
Again, I don't know if this these were was a waste to buy these like theme ones. It probably was. I I, I don't know nothing about it. I got like two binder folders to hold them all and everything. Oh, man, this is new for me, so I'm not used to doing it like this where I'm holding it for you guys to see. So let's, let's try it like that. That way my hands are at a steady angle for you guys. Yeah, another mimic. I actually don't care if I keep getting mimics. Man, I get a black. That's another black dragon. Uh, horde robber. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thieves, or thieves tools. Yes, I've always been a fan of uh, playing as a rogue when I played like Never Winters. If anybody ever played Never Winters one or two, is this a mystic? See, I know that there's like mystics and rares and uncommons and everything like that. I think that orange there means it's a mystic, but I don't really know. I think that's like a, that's actually a rare card. I'm not sure. Oh, dungeon cards. I think these are like dungeon, like the where you play the game and you can like pretend you're actually in a dungeon. If anybody who actually knows anything about Dungeons and Dragons or Magic Dragon, this is probably completely cringy. Totally lost. Find stores and events wherever you are. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, well, that's the first one. I guess that wasn't too amazing. I don't really know. Uh, I guess it's just a few cards. Who knows? Maybe if I get enough of the same ones and I can finally just go ahead and sit down and I mean, play it myself. I don't know, but that was 30, what was it, 30 cards? I think it was in 30 ones in this, and there's a lot more, I got a lot more. So hopefully this was interesting, I uh, hopefully it was for you guys, so God, that keeps sliding. <laughs> so thank you all for watching, I try to produce more of these videos for fun, so thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys in my next uh, Magic Unboxing. Bye-bye.